Today we are getting a chance to look at uh, Mark Bay's Little Mark Tube 800 A Bay's Amplifier It's one of the best um, The customer complained that there's no sound on the speakers The unit does switch on, I open it So I just thought, ah, I've never done a video on the Mark Bay's so I thought let me go through this with you guys so the unit does switch on let's plug it in ok, you can see the unit does switch on but no audio out so what I've realized when I open you can just take the screws on top and that will take off the lid <coughs> so the moment I switch it on so I realize which means the fault on this will only be on the amplifier side of the board so when I open it I got to see inside and see that there is this red light which is switching on and next to it is written prot which I'm sure is standing for protection so which means the amplifier side of this unit it's faulty so let's take off the board and let's just see if we can pick up any parts which is shorting or faulty that we can try and replace and see if we can get this mark base up and running So another thing that I've realized is that when you switch on this unit, this relay, after maybe 5 to 6 seconds, it will switch on, which is for your output. Which means if there's any fault on the output side of this board, this relay won't click. So which your happening, it's not clicking. Okay, let's see if we can investigate further on this board. So I had a close look on this board Then there's something I picked up here uh, That capacitor and that resistor It looked like this sign of burn um, So we're gonna measure that capacitor We're also gonna measure this resistor uh, I can't even see the veil of it. You can see it seems like it bent out there. So which means it got very hot. Um, and when I look at it, it's going to the output socket, which is the socket here. So another thing which I'm happy about is that um, the power supply side is not blown. It was mostly if there was a short in here, it would have also damaged the power side of this board. So I can be glad about that. So when I measure here, I'm not seeing any definite short on this uh, on this board. If we go on the outputs there, I'm not seeing any definite short. So, without any further ado, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you can see there. That was definitely something. See, so that's definitely an issue. 
you can see I tried to remove but look at that so we definitely have a problem here See if we can focus. You can see there. So let's replace these two parts and let's say maybe we'll manage to get this unit out of protection. Okay, we're going to have to get a circuit and see which value was this resistor and the capacitor. So the resistor was 6.8 ohms, 5 watts, and 330 microfarads capacitor so let's replace them and let's see if the unit will still stay in protection Okay, those two are replaced. If those two parts have solved our situation, Hope you can see this is where our protection light is. Okay, let's switch him on. Okay, so I assume that was the problem because now the relay has clicked. Let's get closer so you can see. If you listen, well, let's see if we can see the relay clicking. I'll switch it on. There we go. You can see the relay click. So we should have audio. Let's put it back together and let's test some audio. In most cases, the unit when it fails, you find that the output fed goes faulty, the IC that drives the fed goes faulty, then you have some few components around there, some few resistors uh, will go faulty, and that will impact also on the power supply. So you'll find that the whole unit will be dead 
So you need to sort out the power supply, then you will sort out the amplifier side. So this one, I think maybe it was overdriven, but let's see if we would have audio. Okay, let's see if we can put the speaker on top here. We have a speaker here, it's a Mac based speaker. Let's see if I can get this in the frame. Let's just put this speaker sideways. And uh, well, that's fine. Let's see if we can just test just for audio. Just to see if audio is there. As you can see we've got a small jack, that's what I'm trying to do with this so we can cover in the video. So we'll put it at the back there. Then we'll try and get some signal. We've got some signal. Everything is flat. Let's switch it on. I'm hearing something already. So as you can see, we have a problem with this box. We'll need to clean it. At least we have audio now. Hope I won't get copyrighted. Okay, I have removed the speaker. Uh, we're having a crinkling issue with the master volume. So, mostly is the pot, which is a bit dirty. See if we can remove this knob out. Oops. All right. So let's see if we can clean it. I'm going to try and clean this port. Just to avoid that clicking noise is doing. Okay. Alright. Let's put the speaker back up again. See if we're in the frame. Switch on. I've also decided to test with a tone instead of a music. With a tone, I can easily hear if there's still that crackling noise. On the output for this um, pot that we clean. So we can hear this uh, clear sound coming out of the speaker, even though when I'm Telling the pot that clicking noise is gone. 
So I'll just close the unit up and then I'll do just a test in terms of running it to see if it's not going to overheat. But other than that, I'm happy with this unit. I'll try and get another mag base which will have an issue with the power supply or with the preamp. So we can try and see if we can do it together. But in uh, terms of this one, I'm happy that this unit is out of protection. So please do like and subscribe. Even if you don't have to subscribe, you can like the video. It does go a long way. And thank you for watching until this far.